Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. You might think the games get more important as we get deeper into the season. Try selling that to this sellout crowd who've been screaming their guts out and ready for kickoff in the SEC. Thanks for checking out the pregame show, NCAA College Football Action, coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Bird from the six. And he's taken down at the 27-yard line. Florida staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. You know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He gets rid of this one. taken down to the 38 yard line this is just a great effort by the offensive line the defense was ready for that run but the big guys pushed them back and the drive will keep going first and 10 ball on the 38 and a quick throw tackle made at the 41 yard line he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. to his receiver first down he showed you right there why a defense can never lose tabs on him take your eye off him in coverage and he'll create a big play tackle after a decent run up the gut that'll make it second and four so it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Here's an opening, and he's tackled at the 28-yard line. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. 
And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 28. And they make the stop at the 18. Roberts makes the tackle at the 18 yard line. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 18-yard line. Now he's scrambling. The 10. He gets hit out of bounds at the two. Brad, you just don't see this very often anymore in college football. That is their fifth first down on this drive alone. They have great rhythm right now as an offense. And look at that poor defense. They're looking over to the sidelines to the defensive coordinator for some help. They need to change things up. It's first down. They've got four cracks at it inside the five. It's first and goal. A short yardage defense here. The ball pops free. And no one can get it. It bounces out of bounds. I really thought the defense had a chance to get their hands on it. But the ball went out of bounds first. That's got to be disappointing. We've got second and goal. Ball on the seven. And they'll bring him down behind the line. I think sometimes offenses forget to even include corners as defenders in tackle because a lot of corners just want to be out there and playing against the pass. But this is a corner that they have got to be responsible and remember in the future that he's got to be involved in being able to come up with a blocking scheme. This time they just let him go. He's athletic and strong enough to come up and make a play. Scrambling around. And he tackles him hard at the 17. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Florida could take the lead with this field goal. It's up. And the field goal is good. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. Let's have a look at some scores from around the country. Several surprises today. Texas A&M leads it 14-3. Reese, 3-0 here. Chase gets set to kick this one away. Daniels has to return. From the eight-yard line. Tackle at the 34-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Roger, Roger. Mike 12, Mike 12. Out, the Volunteers always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 34. Pocket holds. Open receiver. No good. That brings us third and ten. Moves up in the pocket. Going long. Phillips was the intended receiver on the play. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. Room around the corner. 
He's knocked out of bounds at the 47-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Florida holds a field goal lead. Here's a handoff, left side. They'll bring him down at the 46. From the 46-yard line, second down. And down he goes around the 35-yard line. First and ten. He's got an opening. Nice run there. Looks like we're going to have a good game on our hands. After one, three nothing, Gators. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. He might have a chance. Tackle around the 22-yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. A great tackle at the 20. On the ground, left side. There's a very impressive open field tackle. From the 20 yard line. Third down. Florida is up a field goal. He launches one for the end zone. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. And he converts the extra point. So a seven-play, 48-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Chase is lined up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Carries the ball for a nice game. He's got an opening. Runs outside for a nice game. Another carry. He's tackled at the 45. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Larry, Larry, Larry. Mike 12. Mike 12. Take that hang with us. I know it. Throws out to the back and he can't hold on to it. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He's taken down right around the 40. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it to make a catch. Offense lines up in a five wide set of defense, anticipating pass here. Slings it. 
Brought down at the 28. just no way anybody could catch up with that pass. Second and ten. Ball on the 28-yard line. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. On the throw, incomplete pass. It's the ninth play of the drive. This one's going deep to the end zone. You can bend a bit as a defense, but when they're this deep in your own territory, you just can't break. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Did you see how calm he looked as he stood back there and read the defense? When you know what you're doing and what should be happening, it makes things a lot easier. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. These guys need to be aware this aerial attack is capable of making some big plays. They've got to get on their toes. the PAT. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese, let's take a look at some scores around the country. The top team roll. This one's been entertaining us all day long. And for Ramsey, he's thrown for three touchdowns. The Aggies have the edge, 21-6. Middle of the second quarter. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Patterson, ready to kick. from the five. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Florida has a three-point lead. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 29. And he's taken down at the 31. there in space. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 40. He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it and he's got room to work. Decides to slide. Five, maybe six yards there on the scramble. The Gators taking their first time out of the half. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it first and ten. From midfield. First down. He scrambled, got the corner. 
He's at the 40. He's pushed out of bounds around the 33-yard line. The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executing. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. Florida is up by three. He's going to try and scramble. And he's tackled around the 27-yard line. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. And they make the stop around the 17-yard line. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. This is the ninth play of this drive. Now he tries to buy some time. And they get the sack. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. He zips it out to the left. Fires a laser touchdown. For Patterson, he adds another TD catch to make it two. You know, this guy is such a difficult target to cover in the passing game. It usually doesn't matter who's covering him. He always seems to find a way to get open and make a catch. And he adds the extra point. Chase has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Daniels from the seven. He'll bring him down at the 36. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Mike 12. Come on, D. Throws it to the outside. Oh, he had the pick, and he dropped it. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with the pick or at least deflect the ball. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 36. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. Tackle made at about the 37-yard line. Third down. Remove this. Mike 12. Mike 12. Check, 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 check. Over the middle to his tailback. They'll bring him down at the 43. Nothing the offense dialed up was enough to get by these guys. They're on right now. Monroe awaits the snap. He's to the 40. Brought down at the 42. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. We've still got a half of football remaining. Florida's got a 10-point lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play, 
and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in, in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to, to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use the strip stick, you know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese Davis, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Daniels takes it from the six. He's out to the 30. Heading for the corner. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And down he goes around the 49-yard line. it fly. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. It's second and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. He gets hit out of bounds at the 27. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 17. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Brought down in the open field. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle at the five-yard line. to try to cut this to a three-point game. And he hits the PAT. A nine-play, 60-yard drive, and they put up seven points. So our score, 17-14. Tennessee kicked this one off. He's to the 20. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line.
the offense will take the field and they've been moving the ball very well on their last couple of drives. Florida holds a field goal lead. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's a of seven. That, that makes, makes it second, it second and two. two. It's second down and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Throws to the right to his fullback, and they got him for a loss. No game on the play. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. He makes it to the 35-yard line. Washington comes away with two yards on the carry. Cunningham is waiting for the snap. Daniels yields it at the 27. Tackle made at the 27-yard line. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. He's tackled around the 46-yard line. From their own 46 yard line. It's second down. And now he's got room to run. Defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Mike 12. Mike 12. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Drop down around the 30-yard line. Goes out of bounds at about the 25 yard line. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings him second and five. Third down again. Let's go, defense. Our time. It's our time. Mike 12. Mike 12. 
He's on the run. Now he's going to run and watch out. The ball is loose. The defense scoops it up. That was a huge turnover. Yeah, and it couldn't have come at a better time for this defense. You're trying to come up with a big stop, and now you get the ball back with the lead. The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. Three down, three down. Florida is up a field goal. He's out to the 30. Makes it to the 41. And folks, it's neck and neck as we head to the final quarter of play. 17-14, Gators. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. He gets rid of this one. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 41. He's at midfield, but, and he hits him hard at the 48. Gain of 11 on the play. First down. Right and left, right and left. Four down, four down. Hey, check back 45, check back 45. Gets out to around the 35. Call it a gain of 13 yards. That makes it first and 10. ten. From the 35-yard line, it's first down. <laughs> Tackle outside after a nice pickup. Call a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Across the middle, caught, and he's taken down around the 21-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. It's first and ten. Ball on the 21. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. This is the eighth play of this drive. Florida has a three-point lead. Up the middle for a nice game. That's a game four on the play. Third down. From the 17-yard line. Third down. And he throws it away. away and it sails through the uprights the kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off Daniels from the three. Oh, he got nailed on that one Last time the offense had it, they lost a fumble. So I'm pretty sure the coaching staff was over there talking about ball security. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And they make the stop at the 34. They get a good seven yards on that one. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. Decides to slide. Yeah, 
Less than three minutes in the game. And he's tackled right around the 48-yard line. Fires out to his wideout. Good tackle there in space. That makes it first and ten. From the 38-yard line, first down. Throws a bullet. Makes the catch and look out, and he is drilled to 31 yard line. Down of bounds at the 17-yard line. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Got his tight end open and he drops it. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Crosses left, intercepted. up about seven yards there after keeping the ball on the option. The Volunteers taking their first time out of the half. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They're packed in tight on the line. He makes his way to about the 22. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. run up the middle. Washington gains around six yards on the run. Tennessee's called their final timeout. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. We have less than a minute to go. He takes it right side for a good game. First down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He'll go down to one knee. And the ball game's over. And our final score in this one, 2014 Gators.
So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? Florida comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks and we'll see you next time.